There were rumors she was hiding out in Paris, or maybe her home in London, and alleged sighting of her in Los Angeles. In the end, Ghislaine Maxwell was living in this sprawling and secluded home in New Hampshire. There is no cell phone service along the one kilometer long wooden road that leads to the home. Authorities said she paid cash for it under an assumed name to hide her whereabouts. We have been discreetly keeping tabs on Maxwell's whereabouts as we worked this investigation. And more recently, we learned she had slithered away to a gorgeous property in New Hampshire, continuing to live a life of privilege while her victims live with the trauma inflicted upon them years ago. Neighbors in the town of Bradford, population 1,500, say they were shocked. You wouldn't believe they'd be up here. Of all places, we're in the middle of nowhere. Assuming Maxwell fights these charges and the case goes to a trial, it would happen here at this federal courthouse in Manhattan. The big question then would become how many of her alleged victims would be willing to testify. For years, dozens of alleged victims of Jeffrey Epstein, the now deceased sex offender, have said Maxwell, a longtime associate of Epstein, played a central role in recruiting and trafficking girls into sex. Until a trial, prosecutors will fight to keep Maxwell behind bars. They say she's a flight risk in possession of three passports and access to millions of dollars in more than 12 banks that she's linked to. But the mystery of her whereabouts now solved with her arrest in a place she certainly did not want to be found. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, New York.